G'day. Welcome to Ollie 35mm, user-based, quasi-empirical, cheap and cheerful videos on Olympus 35mm cameras. And the Olympus 35mm camera that I would like to share with you today is the ubiquitous Olympus Trip. Somebody tells me that they uh, made 10 million of them, I think it's probably more like about 5.5 million, uh, and it spawned a, a whole lot of um, uh, cheap and nasty um, follow-on okay, cameras. Uh, which uh, bore the, the Olympus Trip name, but stick with the original, this is the one to have. Okay, the Olympus Trip. I'll take away this one and I'll show you this black one, which is a standard. Uh, the other one I put a skin on, uh, just for a bit of fun. Okay, so first came out in 1967 uh, and continued through to 1984. And uh, some people say 1988, but I believe it is actually 1984. Uh, it is, um, as the name suggests, the perfect little camera to take on a trip with you. I believe that's why they decided to use the name. It's very, very simple to use. It has uh, automatic um, exposure, and there, with the help of a selenium cell, 1 40th of a second and also 1 200th of a second uh, shutter speeds, automatically chosen by the camera. And we have a, an aperture range of uh, 2.8 through to f22 if you can see it there uh, but it needs to be set on the a setting for the automatic um, exposure and the other settings are for the use of a flash and you'll see that there is a hot shoe on the top uh, to be able to put in a flash and a socket uh, for the flash uh, to be taken off camera if you so desire okay it also has a four as we go 40 millimeter f 2.8 uh, four elements in uh, three groups lovely sharp contrasty little lens very very pleasant and it's one of the reasons why people loved it so much you also notice too that it has four um, four section zone focusing um, at uh, its minimum it's uh, three meters uh, sorry sorry my apologies one meter three foot or three and a bit feet one and a half meters three meters and then infinity and of course they've got the lovely little pictures on there so you don't have to worry about actual distances but you can actually work out well a mountain is a mountain a group of people is a group of people uh, also on the front is a, an ASA range or, a, or an ISO range of 25 through to 400 which covers most of the popular films one other thing with the exposure uh, is uh, if you leave the lens cap on or if it's actually too dark then the camera will not allow you to take a photograph and a little red flag will pop up in the viewfinder which is very very handy there's not a lot to be said outside of that there's a tripod mount and there's your um, a sprocket release uh, um, on there so you can rewind your film obviously there's your film rewinder like so the, uh, on the back there's really nothing to say except for there is a viewfinder there and a knelled ring to be able to wind on your film like so and on the inside and the the uh, back is opened up by actually popping this little fella open and you just load up your film as you would normally into the little slot make sure it's onto the teeth wind it on off you go Bob's your uncle okay as for the actual camera itself, um, it's it's beautiful to use. I, I love it. it it's very simple. Uh, that was the whole idea of uh, it. It um, is fun to use. The images, as you'll see at the end of this video, are, are really, really nice. And um, they're very popular. Uh, however, don't pay much more than about 50 or $60 for one. Um, they did make five and a half million or 10 million, depending on who you listen to, uh, of them. So they're absolutely everywhere. They come in uh, two types. You can get the silver type and the much rarer black type, which I'm sure is much more than $60. I, I actually haven't seen one, so I couldn't say. Uh, and they, up until 1978, they had a silver uh, shutter button. And uh, after 1978, they went to a plastic black uh, shutter button. So this one's metal, the new one's plastic. Oh, and while we're talking about the shutter button, then it actually has a screw in there to be actually, to put a cable release in there as well. So there's a nice quick one for you today. The Olympus Trip 35. Don't bother too much with the ones that came after it. Uh, the, the plastic Fantastics, uh, they're nowhere near as good uh, as the original. So 
Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.